Home Assistant doesn't have anything that connects with this. I know how you guys are. You guys want things to be local. You guys want things to be secure. This has to be broken down into like three big pieces. It was not, it was not easy. It was not simple. If I can't get this working, then this project stops here. Can I level with you guys for a moment? I thought my previous video was a banger, but the YouTube algorithm didn't show it to folks or there just wasn't interest. Not entirely sure, but uh, I'm gonna do something different this time. I've been experimenting with the last few videos, as you've probably seen, around just using AI in different scenarios. I've been shoving it in all kinds of places and all sorts of recesses in like the smart home, uh, let's call it platform to see how I can use it in useful ways. For instance, in the previous video, I used AI to control my smart home vacuum. It's just a regular robot vacuum. And AI controlled it from beginning to end. AI would start, it would look at it, it would say your house is dirty, I'm gonna clean. I wanna use it with finances. Only 4% of you said that you would use AI to manage your finances. I am going to use AI to create a smart home budgeting app like a low-key one but it's gonna rival that of rocket money if anything what this proves is that smart home and AI together can create some really incredible things and it can expand what we think a smart home can do for ourselves your smart home is more than just turning off and on lights and how we can integrate it with all the things around us I think that's just left up to our imaginations but it's not gonna be easy though um, I have not made anything yet. I have no idea if this is actually going to work, but I'm confident that I can do something or at least learn something from out of this. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys along and you're gonna see. And, and more importantly, I want you to see that, I guess a shameless plug, I have a course that teaches you how to expand and create uh, a smart home that is more than what the smart home cartels can do for you out of the box. What I'm gonna do here now is going to be a testament to what that course could do for you. But again, you don't have to take my word for it. Watch what happens and then you can make a judgment for yourself. Okay, turn on the desk light. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I know I have a hunch in certain areas what I can do, but I really don't know like if I'm gonna succeed or if this is gonna work out as well as I think it is. Like it could just be a dud. This has to be broken down into like three big pieces. The first piece is connecting to my bank account. I need a way for my home assistant or my uh, smart home to get information from the bank account. I doubt they're gonna have any open, APIs that you can use to like authenticate and like it's gonna be a process I'm sure of it the next part is I need to bring that into like home assistant and then be able to like feed it to uh, an LLM of some sort I'm gonna be using Olama I know how you guys are you guys want things to be local you guys want things to be secure and I get it I understand and I feel you we need to find a way to get it into Olama and then have Olama work on it, crunch on the numbers and then give me information back. I don't know what model I'm using. I don't know, I don't know anything. The only thing I do know is I will be using AI intent. The last piece is to essentially put it all together. Uh, once I get the information from Olama, uh, spit it back to the smart home and then uh, craft the information into something that's useful, probably like put it on a dashboard or give some kind of verbal readout from one of the smart speakers around the house. I'm not entirely sure, but it needs to follow those three things. Grab the information from the bank, pass it to a llama, and then post it in a place that makes sense. With that being said, let's start with the first one. So remember how I said I'm gonna be battling like Rocket Money or kind of spoofing their app? Well, we kind of need to know what their app is and how it works. Um, so I did a little bit of digging and here's what I found. Yeah, so while signing up to Rocket Money, one of the first things that you find out is that they connect to your bank account, but they do it with a service called 
plaid or plaid plaid. I think it's called plaid. You've most likely encountered it too when you have to sign up for like budgeting apps or any app that requires your bank information. I'm going to use them too. I've never used plaid before. I don't know how much they charge, but what I did find is that they do have like free developer accounts. So I will see what that is and I will figure that out. I did try going straight to my bank. I tried to see if my bank had an API and they do, they do. Problem is uh, it's a bank. So they don't just give it out to anyone, which is kind of strange though, because it's my account. Like bottom line is I can't connect to it via the traditional methods. I need to go through Plaid. If I can't use Plaid, this entire idea dies in the water right now. It has been several hours and I've made some progress. It was not, it was not easy. It was not simple. Here's what I have. Press the button. We see the link and all of the token information. Oh, there it goes. Look at that, look at that. Continue. And then let's just choose like Wells Fargo. Um, I think I can just sign in, just get code, submit. I can just grab whatever I'm looking for. So let's. In 10 minutes, Alora should take a bath. Hmm, okay. Let's look at the checkings account. Continue, I've read, continue. So now it's connected. Hmm, it looks like there's a request error. I'm not entirely sure, but feels like I'm getting closer. <sighs> so I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I basically am trying to authenticate with this application and then with the authentication that they give me, access like this fake account. It seems to be working here and there, like it doesn't work all the time. And I, I, I have to go and debug this some more. This is very frustrating. Um, Home Assistant doesn't have anything that connects with this and for good reason. Um, Node Red is what I'm using and it does have a plugin. There was a plugin, but that plugin is years old and I don't trust it. Granted, I did read their code. It looked fine, but I'm still not gonna trust it. So, um, so yeah, I am... <sighs> This is frustrating and it's kind of hard and, but I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself. I believe in the heart of the cards. So this is going to work. You wait and see. Okay. Good news. Good news. I have it working. I'm a bit stoked. All right. Look, see, I can see the accounts. I only have access to the checking account because that's the one that I chose. Um, but this is working. And then look, there's balances. We can see all of that stuff there, the currency. Uh, I wonder if we can see like transactions and whatnot. I don't know, I don't see any transactions per se, but I haven't really explored this this thing entirely. Hey, hey, this is progress, this is progress. I just need to kind of like brute force my way around, just figure out what's going on, figure out how to get the transactions, because that's all I really need. All I really need is just like my day-to-day -day transactions. Once I figure that out, then I think I'm going to be all right. Perhaps. to update uh, AI Intense so that way the local AI node can actually utilize open AIs, not open AIs, pff, Olama's new tool functionality. Now that it supports tools, I'm, I'm switching everything over. I've been testing everything out with open AI, but now I want to switch it over to my local LLM. I have just now installed the latest version of a Llama. I have also updated the model to Llama 3.1. Um, there's like two or three other models that you could use that is supposed to work well with tools, but I'm gonna go with Llama 3.1. Um, let's see if all of this works. All right, so don't mind me. I am in the middle of watching the Olympics. 
yeah. it's surfing. Uh, but I have the I have it working. I have the local LLM working. Um, I managed to have it so that way ChatGPT uses the tool functionality. I haven't tested it all the way through, but I can see it working here. I'm going to pair this with Plaid and see if it can actually call the correct functions based off of what I get from Plaid. Making progress. I am stoked with this. Traditionally using LLMs or AI within your automations is pretty cumbersome and you don't have that many choices as to what you can use. The most widely supported is OpenAI or GPT and most people don't like that because your information won't stay local. It gets sent to a third party corporation where we don't really know what they use it for. I mean, we can guess, but earlier this year I built AI Intent which allowed me to easily use LLMs within my automation. So so I was able to use GPT to do a lot of cool things, but with a recent update, I am now able to use Olama and other third party tools locally, meaning my information doesn't go to OpenAI or anyone else. I can keep it local. The biggest problem I've had with like local LLMs is that they didn't use something called function calling, which basically made it difficult for me to reliably use it within automations. But now with a recent update from Olama, I'm able to do that. So over the weekend, I updated AI Intent so it can support this new feature from Olama. And the plan is to use this feature to reliably call Plaid and process the information that it gives so I can have really interesting insights from my bank statements. But now that I am trying to connect Plaid to it and I'm feeding it information, the local AI seems to have problems seeing it. So as a result, it doesn't give me the information that I need. If I can't get this working, then... This project stops here. <laughs> <laughs>